Ah, uh, good morning. So we are on our way to Hershey Park. Uh, never would I think that I would get up at five o'clock in the morning to go ride a boomerang roller coaster, but I guess that's what we're doing. So me and Kara, we're on our way to go check out the uh, Jolly Rancher remix, and uh, I think it's called the Mixed Ride. Actually, I'm kind of more excited to check that thing out, but um, should be a fun day. It doesn't feel like it'd be too busy of uh, crowds. And And storm chasers, but yeah, storm chasers, storm rider, and everything else, but it should be a fun day. All right, we're over here by the Jolly Rancher remix and the mixed um, attraction, or yeah, I think that's what this is called mixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mixed. So, yeah, we're, I think we're gonna go get on uh, Jolly Rancher remix here, and then I'm gonna try to shoot some video of this new funky looking ride and should have some fun. Just had our first ride on Jolly Rancher Remix. Uh, first take, it's a fun little ride. Uh, I mean, the best part is you go inside the tunnel. We had watermelon, and I keep telling you that the guys like watermelon, but um, fun ride. I like the upbeat atmosphere to the roller coaster, just the music blaring, the lights shining all around. Um, this is probably a pretty neat ride at night. I'd like to see it at night, uh, see all the lights lit up. Um, but yeah, very colorful, very uh, upbeat energy, and I like that about it. I mean, it's a boomerang coaster, but it has like the best restraint, so it's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, first takes a neat little ride. All right, so we just rode Jolly Ranger Remix for the second time, and now we're gonna go ride Mix. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to ride th this track. It looks really neat, quirky, and uh, um, possibly some airtime. I have no idea, but it should be a fun little ride. time is felt a little short because you do like a few cycles going forward and then you do a few cycles going backwards um i don't know because we're only loading half of the ride because obviously when you're as you can see half of, it, half of the ride is lower and then half the people are above so i don't know when they run it full you would actually do like two cycles that i'm not really sure but it's a fun little ride um very enjoyable. It's a nice little floater air time pretty much throughout the whole ride. Uh, so yeah, that's mixed. They got samples of, I think it was uh, blue raspberry and great. Yeah, I like the wrapper in my shot. It's so awesome. Um, they're actually really good. I really like these. So I got three rides on Jolly Rancher Remix. Yeah, I'm going mind blank. And one ride on Mixed. I think we might grab another ride in here shortly. Uh, Overall, I actually kind of prefer Mix just because I'm not a huge fan of boomerangs, but of the boomerangs I've been on, I'd say that Jolly Rancher Remix is probably one of the best 
The theming definitely helps. Uh, the uh, vest restraints are pretty good. I mean, it's pretty much the same as what Sidewinder was before, but uh, just with better theming lights. Obviously, you can hear the music playing in the background. Uh, um, so, yeah, I think this is a nice new addition here at Hershey Park. I would definitely come check it out. I really like this flat ride. I think, um, yeah, I think more parts should build these flat rides. They're pretty fun, uh, enjoyable. Uh, maybe convince Kenny to get one too, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, great new addition here at Hershey Park. We're over here by Skyrush, and the line is actually starting to get kind of long, surprisingly. Um, I was kind of, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more on the dead side, but this queue is really filling up. Here I was expecting a dead day at the park, and it does not look to be that case. This is a completely full queue of Skyrush, and it's pouring out into the midway. Um, and the line really isn't moving that long. Like when we got in, there was like two or three switchbacks and we've waited about 40 minutes right now. I mean, we're almost about to ride, but yeah. Hershey Park is super busy today. We just rode Wildcat. Um, we didn't wait too long for Wildcat, which I mean that ride's usually a walk on anyway, so it was like a 30 minute wait. Sky Rush, obviously, as I said earlier, is a pretty long wait. All the roller coasters have like full queues. Um, not really sure how long we'll hang out here. We're just gonna kind of hang out for a little bit. Uh, maybe try to ride a couple more rides if we can. Um, but yeah, today was just pretty much for the media day, and we'll see what else we get out of this. Lightning Racer, uh, I mean, I guess it's better than what I remember. It's still not my favorite, but I'm still on the hashtag RMC Lightning Racer and uh, Preserve Wildcat movement, but uh, yeah, it's a fun ride. Hey, I'm here with Griffin. Uh, we're about to go ride on Storm Runner. I'm super excited. I love Storm Runner. It's one of the best Yeah, it's definitely my second favorite ride the park, only behind Skyrush. Skyrush. Okay, I guess I'll allow that one, but my favorite's still Storm Runner. So we just got off of Sky Rush for the second time and did a great bear. We were able to get on that and obviously Storm Runner. Storm Runner is awesome. Uh, and now we're over here by Candemonium. And um, yeah, I said this was my second favorite roller coaster in the park. So let's see if it still holds up to that level. But yeah, we just got off of Candemonium as our last ride of the day. Uh, it's a great hyper coaster. I, I mean, every time I ride it, it seems to continue to impress me more and more. Just lots of good floater airtime. It feels a little bit shorter, but it's just a fun ride. I mean, that's just what it is. It's just a solid, fun roller coaster. And um, yeah, but yeah, great day here at Hershey Park overall. Um, had fun time, good, good day hanging out with friends. And uh, I don't know, we'll be back at some point, but yeah. That's gonna do it. bonus info here so I was using the Hershey Park app today and I hate to say it but those ride times on that thing are not accurate at all so at one point I said Candemonium had like a 180 minute wait which I don't think it ever was that much and then Skyrush said it had a 20 minute wait but it was like a full queue and we waited like 40 minutes and that was only we were already like a third through the line when the line started filled up so um 
bunch of other rides. Like, yeah, just, it was just, it was like all over the place. Or it's a, another coaster had like 10 minutes and it was not a 10 minute wait. It's um, not accurate at all. And then at the end of the day, we walked over to Candemonium and it said that it was a 75 minute wait and the line started at the bottom of the stairs. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Get that app straightened up, your wait time, because that really was kind of unhelpful at all. But my little tidbit, I guess.